What's going on, everybody, and welcome to the Hoops With Us podcast. And today I'm joined by a very special guest. He is one of the top recruited prospects in the class of 2022, J.J. Starling. J.J., what's going on, man? Hello. How you doing, my guy? I'm doing pretty good. Can't complain. Good to hear. Good to hear. So, J.J., uh, I know this quarantine has had a lot of stuff down as of recently, but uh, now some stuff has started to open back up. Gyms have started to open up. Uh, just tell us what you have been doing during quarantine to keep yourself busy and keep yourself active and on top of your game. Um, well, in the beginning of the phases, like phase one, phase two, um, I remember just jogging around the block and stuff, going to like a mile and run, and then just doing push-ups and sit-ups and stuff like that just to stay in shape and keep my body right. But now, since everything, you know, is slowly opening up, I've been going to the gym, working out, getting shots up and stuff like that. <clears throat> That's awesome, man. That's great to hear. So, JJ, for everyone out there that has never seen you play before or who doesn't know about your game, uh, just describe your game for us, if you could. Um, I'm, I prefer to play the one. Um, I like to get my teammates involved. Um, one thing that is very recognizable about my game is my jump shot. Um, I feel like I can shoot the ball pretty well. And like I said, I um, took on a leadership role this year. And I feel like that's um, one thing I can do good. That's great to hear, man. That's awesome. So, JJ, you hold multiple uh, high major offers from schools such as UConn, Syracuse, Alabama, and many more. Uh, just give us a rundown on your recruitment for us, if you could, and uh, tell us about some schools that have some things that are very appealing to you. Um, yeah, uh, so this recruitment process has been really crazy. I've um, gotten to contact with schools that I never thought I would come in contact with. Um, like you said, you mentioned some of my offers, and those are all great programs. And, you know, just having that ability to have those type of schools interested and offer you is just amazing and um there's a lot of things that's appealing about you know many of these programs a lot of them are in the acc um, big east stuff like that and those are you know great conferences so that's one thing that stood out to me <clears throat> absolutely man so uh on june 15th that was the first time that college coaches could directly reach out to class of 2022 guys like yourself uh what are some new schools that you have been in contact with that from this time that may have not offered you yet? Um, a big school that came in contact with me is um Duke. And I was surprised to get that also. That's um they said they're very interested. Um another one is Cincinnati. There's like a lot more that, you know, I didn't even think I would get. And they said they're very interested in me, interested in me and that they've been watching me for a while. So just great news to hear. That's awesome, man. That Duke one's a big one. I bet you were pretty excited about that. Yeah, I'm I'm excited about it all. You know, just <laughs> blessing. It's a blessing to get it all. <laughs> Absolutely, man, for sure. So, man, the uh, next uh, question that I have for you is uh, you attend C.W. Baker High School. Uh, just tell us what it was, what this past season went for you guys and uh, how you think you improved as a player. So this year, um, it was a rough year because we had a lot of outsiders, you know, talking down on us, um, saying that we're not going to make it as far as that we hope to make it to. And we ended up going to the championship. Mm -hmm. um, every practice, every game, we pushed each other. We held each other accountable. And we uh, came up with some more leaders this year. You know, a lot of people took on a leadership role, and that's why we did what we did. Um, like like I said, we pushed each other in practice. Um, we got each other better. And then that's why games became so, you know, easy for us. And it just helped. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. So next question that I have for you, JJ, is uh, you're part of the City Rocks EYBL family. Uh, what's it like being a part of that program, man? And what is it like playing on the EYBL circuit uh, against some of the top talent in the nation? It's great because, like you said, it's a great program, one of the best. Um, they produce great players. Um, they have great players that play alongside you. And Coach Hart just does a great job just, you know, getting you better, just 
getting other colleges to look at, uh, look for you and stuff like that. So City Rocks has been a great help in um, this recruiting process. And I owe my thanks to Coach Hart because he helped a lot. And then, like I said, um, playing against um, great players and having them alongside you, is it's great because not only will you get better as a player, but you get a feel of what it's like for that next level that you're going to be playing on. Absolutely, man. That's for sure. Hart is uh, another thing that I noticed about him. He gets you guys in contact with a lot of these coaches. He's great with connecting you guys with coaches and getting you guys offers and stuff. So it's great for you to be a part of that. <laughs> Yeah, man. So let's talk about the invite that you received to a USA uh, Junior National Team training camp. What was it like uh, getting that invite, man? Um, getting that invite was just crazy because here I am, just a kid from Syracuse, small city, not much. Like, there's great players, don't get me wrong, but not a lot, not a lot of people look at us here. And getting that invite was just amazing because it gave me a chance to play with great players, play against great players, and learn from one of, from the best coaches in the country. Mm -hmm. And there I learned so much that I took and I, I just soaked it all in. I learned, I learned some stuff to help improve my game and just different aspects of it. That's awesome, man. That's great. All right, JJ, JJ let's break down your game a little bit, man. Uh, you're 6'4 guard, and like you say, you like to play the one, but you can also play the two, so you're a combo guard. Uh, and like you said, everyone knows you for your jump shot, man. You're one of the best shooters in the class of 2022 for sure. Uh, you're great at coming off. You're great at coming off screens. you to get yourself open, uh, and you can use your dribble combos as well to free yourself up, get some space to get your jump shot off. Uh, the question I have for you is, what is one part of your game that you would say goes unnoticed that may not appear up on the stat sheet or not in the scouting report from the other team? Well, this year. Um... I definitely hustled more. Um, I dove on loose balls. I took charges, and I usually don't even do that. And it just helped bring my game up to, you know, one more notch. And that's what helped this year also. And also that something that goes unnoticed is my ability to attack and, you know, look for teammates or just look for myself to score. And my explosiveness, I got – I feel like I got way more explosive as far as um, this year to last year. and. So, yeah. That's awesome, man. So uh, what are some parts of your game that you're looking to improve, man, for next season? Um, some parts I'm looking to improve on is defense, definitely. Um, me, if I actually lock in, I can be a good defender, but there's times and lapses where I go and I kind of get lazy. And that's something I, I definitely need to work on if I want to play at the next level. Absolutely. Well, JJ, the last question that I have for you, man, is uh, – what are some goals that you want to achieve individually and as a team for next season? Well, individually, I definitely – I just want to set small goals at a time. Um, so just getting better will be a, a big one because I want to always look to improve. There's always somebody looking to knock, you know, my spot off or take my spot. So I just want to improve and get better so that, you know, I can move up. And some team goals. Um, as far as right now, I'm not sure where I'm going to school at. So, mm -hmm. um, but one team goal was just to be getting better as a team, pushing each other and helping others get better. Absolutely, man. Well, JJ, I can't thank you enough for joining me on the show, man. Uh, it was great talking basketball with you and about your recruitment. I'm um, looking forward to keep watching your recruitment take off and uh, looking forward to staying in touch, my guy. Thank you for sure, for sure. Yeah, no doubt, man. Stay safe out there. I'll be in touch. All right, sounds good. Thank you. All right.